dialysis patients ideally will have an AV fistula created for the dialysis. That means an artery is attached to a vein, the vein enlarges, and that vein is used to, for the dialysis technicians to put needles in. If that doesn't work, sometimes people have what's called an AV graft, which is a hose from the artery to the vein that's found under the skin, and then the dialysis nurses will puncture that little hose. Now, as an interventional radiologist, my role is to find the best arteries and veins in a patient's body so that the surgeon can make a fistula that can be used for dialysis. And so we'll do some procedures, I call them panvenography and, and vein mapping and arteriography, where we'll use a combination of ultrasound and venograms to find the biggest, best veins in the body that could be used for creating an AV fistula because what we don't want to have happen is we don't want a surgeon to use arteries and veins in one particular part of the body that aren't very good because then you just have a wasted surgery and it won't develop into a nice fistula. This is particularly important for patients who've already had a lot of access attempts or who have reasons to think their veins might be closed. For instance, they've had a catheter for a long period of time or maybe they have a pacemaker. In those patients, a lot of the central veins are closed off and if a surgeon attempted to create a fistula in that extremity, then it might not be successful. So one of the common consultations we get is for a patient coming for us to find the best site for the surgeon to create the AV access. And then what we do is generate a consultation and we give a CD with all the images to the patient and then we'll coordinate a consultation with a surgeon who to use our information and create the best fistula that they can get.